Hey folks, so this is the video tutorial for my song Deer uh, from my album Still Mine Still. And uh, this song is capoed on the first fret, but like with um, other songs where I've had the, the capo, uh, we're going to pretend that the capo sort of resets the guitar. So when I say G, even though it's really a G sharp, you'll know that it's a G shape. Um, so, like I said, capo on the first fret. And this song is really all about the melody getting kind of plucked out. So rather than trying to tell you all the different chords and notes that I'm hitting, I think it's the easier thing to do is just to know that it's in a G shape. Um, and I'm doing a, a finger picking with my right hand. So I'll show you what happens with the right hand first. I've got my thumb as with the other songs, just chugging out that bass, going between the 6th string and the 5th string, depending on what needs to be played. And then each of these fingers is kind of responsible for a string, and they might go from here up to here, depending on, on what they have to hit. So I'll show you what that looks like. That's what the right hand looks like, and if we look at it on the left hand, again, we're just staying in this G shape, nothing's moving all over the place, it's all about kind of economy of movement. Um, you can just little watch each finger has its own little roll. When you're trying to figure it out, you just sort of be visualizing or trying to hear that melody in your head. Right? Um, and I'm going to do it really slowly now so you can really see which finger is going where. So it goes like this. That'll be just a matter of trying to make sure that you're hearing the same melody um, because the, the singing is going to match exactly that, right? Tell me a name, I will write it on my hand Hold it there as long as I can And as it fades, it will fall into my skin Then I'll hold you always within Dear. Now we're into the chorus, so E minor, By the light. C with the G in the bass, of the moon. G, and I'm playing my G just with my finger on the third fret, again we're resetting because of the capo, and everything else is open, open strings. I don't feel so afraid of you. Just knocking that F sharp on the way down. I don't feel That's kind of like your D with an F sharp in the bass, but I'm not actually hitting the uh, third fret on the second string and leaving that open. C with the G in the bass. D with an A in the bass. So we're coming out of that again. I'll cover your verses and the choruses, and then the only other part is the bridge, which goes like this. Usually, C with the G in the bass. I'm just too nervous. G. Uh, climbing down. Trembling me. E minor. Climbing back up. Fingers. D with an F sharp in the bass. Fingers blue. And you would. Hitting 
happy you'd be To the A minor, I wouldn't ask the same of Catching that B, you see in the G and the bass. I wouldn't ask. This is a little tricky chord here, but. So we're going to call that a C sharp minor 7 flat 5. Don't worry about that too much. The most important thing is. Um, it's, it looks like this, basically. <laughs> um, so again, with the capo resetting, we have 4th fret. 5th fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, or if you're forgetting that the capo is resetting, 5th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret, 6th fret. Uh, and then where does it go? Right. Building. I don't feel so afraid. Just goes on from there, and then uh, it ends with the same picking pattern that we learned at the beginning. So uh, yeah, that's that's dear.